What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. In my previous video that I made, I listed the worst things about the uh, NA Mazda Miata and um, hopefully you know you guys didn't get too mad about that it's just a video that i wanted to make just to like point out the like little annoying things that this car has that could be different and the ways you could get around it and whatnot but anyways this is going to be the best things about the mazda miata the things that i absolutely love and honestly there are so many so i'm not going to make a 40 minute video of everything that i love about this car but um i'm going to be making a short video of the things that i love the most and i'm sure that you guys have noticed and love the most and then we can discuss in the comments you know things that maybe I missed or um, things that I've noticed uh, that I love that maybe you really didn't take into consideration before and noticed that you like too so anyways let's get into it this is gonna be the best things about the NA Mazda Miata guys if you like driving manual like I do the first thing you're gonna notice about this car is the shifter is fantastic and I cannot stress it enough how amazing this shifter is. This is a stock shifter right here. Okay, so this is a five-speed manual and the gearbox is amazing. I mean, it's super notchy. It's got already a short throw. It feels so good. You know when you're in gear. I mean, everything about it is amazing from the clutch feel with the shifter. It's amazing. I cannot complain at all. And uh, I was considering getting a uh, a short a short throw uh, shifter for this car, but after driving it and putting, I have like almost 400 miles on this car for driving it the past like week and a half, two weeks. So I was gonna get a short throw shifter. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. I don't think it's necessary because of how good the shifter feels. Honestly, I feel like a stock shifter is good enough. I really don't need a short throw in this car, I don't think. Maybe I'll change my mind eventually, but I think for now, that's not even gonna be a thing. Now, I know I've mentioned I'm gonna be getting a shifter rebuild kit in the mail. Unfortunately, with everything going on in the world right now, I don't know when that's coming in. I have a couple things that I ordered for this car that still haven't shipped, and it's been like a week and a half since I ordered them. So I don't know when those things are gonna be coming in. It kinda sucks because I wanted to make videos about it. But anyways, again, the first thing, the best thing, um, one of the best things about this car is the shifter. If you're a Miata owner, you know what I'm talking about. These cars feel amazing. So that's the first thing, the shifter, perfect. So if you're a Miata owner and you don't have power steering, you know where I'm going with this. Me personally, not having power steering has been one of the best things that this car has provided to me in terms of uh, the way the car drives, the way the car feels. Power steering is nice and I get it. It sucks when you go to park in the, in and uh, out of spaces, parallel parking. It's really a pain and I know that. It, you know, you gotta put a lot of muscle into it. But when you're going on the road, I feel like having no power steering is amazing. As you can see, like right now, the car's off, but you really can't. Oh, I just locked the wheel, but let me show you right now. Oh, let me just unlock this wheel quick. So, as you can see, if I start it up, it's very hard to, when you're stopped, so it kind of sucks, but when you're going, you can feel everything on the road. Um, the car is very like responsive. Any little bump, dip, anything that you feel, any, you know, you're going across the road driving, you can feel everything. So you know exactly what the car's gonna do. And I think that's super, super fun. It gives you a very raw feeling to the car. And uh, I recommend, as long as it's not your daily, because with, for a daily driver, you'd probably want power steering, which obviously like in my wagon and my mini when I drive, it is nice not having to put so much force steering. But in a car that you're going to be driving on the weekends and just for fun and, you know, to hang out with friends and just hoon around, having no power steering is super fun. And I truthfully would recommend if you're going to be buying this car for a weekend. So no power steering will be your friend if you're driving it on the weekend. Guys, another thing about this car that is amazing and is one of the best things about it is how small it is. So these cars only weigh about 2,100 pounds and it's tiny, as you can see, like this is a very tiny car and it makes it super fun to just like zip around um, on the highway and especially when I'm gonna go boost on it, uh, do a turbo uh, kit on it, it's gonna be very like fun to drive, it's gonna be very responsive and honestly, like, Somebody just started playing music behind me blasting. I don't know why, but like I said, this car is super small and I love that about it because it allows for a very fun driving experience. You can really, like I said, you can zip around in traffic. You can park it in the smallest of spots. And like I said, it's just super fun because of how small it is. Another awesome thing about this car, guys, is uh, probably the fact that it is only a two-seater. 
I kind of like that because one, you don't have to just give people rides all the time. And two, like I said, it, it gives it like a very natural look to the car as in like, you know, when you do like a rear seat delete, like in a mini, like obviously, you know, the car has two seats, but this is just really nice set up a very small cockpit, which I really, really like. And honestly, the fact that it's a two seater only really just adds to like the sportiness and the fun feel of this car. And um, I really like that. It might be something small, um, like interior wise, but it gives it like a very race sport cart feel. And to me, that really kind of adds to the experience of what the Miata is. Another thing, as you can see, the car is obviously convertible. All Miatas are convertible. So if you have nice weather out, you could just drop the top. Like I said, just, we can undo this. We can undo this, boom. And now we're exposed to the elements. So if you're going down to the beach, you wanna have a good time, you wanna drop the top in nice weather, it's really nice. And another good thing about the top is because it's a mechanical top, like you gotta do it by hand and there's no button, no power switch. A lot of times in newer cars, you have to like fully stop, put the car in park or put the car in park or neutral and you have to wait like 20 seconds for the top to come up. This is just two, two latches on top, one, two, and literally you could just drop the top and to put it back up you just pull it up latch it so in case it starts to rain like out of nowhere you could get the top up in literally three seconds and then not get anything wet which is really nice because if you're driving a newer car and it randomly starts to rain on you you got to pull over to the side of the road maybe find like a garage really quick to get under not to get wet put the car in park let the top come up it might take like 20 seconds and then by that time everything's already wet at least in this situation you can literally just stop pull it up and you're done which is really good and obviously like in a car like this a drop top like i mean personally looks pretty awesome so that's another amazing thing about this car is the fact you could drop the top whenever you want in nice weather and it's super fun and it looks super nice and the last thing guys if this gives you a hint of what the last best thing about this car is yes it's the pop-up headlights the pop-up headlights are honestly probably one of the best things about the 90s i love the look of the pop-up headlights so much like i don't know it just gives it like a cute kind of i don't even know what it and honestly, I'm gonna tie in the pop-up headlights with the whole front end because, I don't know, I just love like the smiley happiness that the Miata has, if that makes sense. Everybody loves pop-up headlights, especially if you're a Miata owner, you know you love these. Most of us drive with them um, up all the time, even though that's really not good for aerodynamics because it's kind of like putting like two plates on the front of your car, which just, you know, the wind hits it and it's kind of hard to get through the wind because it's less aerodynamic with the lights up. But still, either way, if you're a Miata owner, you know you love the pop-up headlights. I love them, and uh, it's one of the things that we always like to show off when we have them. And a lot of people do the, the uh, lazy or the sleepy eye mod, but uh, I'm probably not gonna do that. I say that now, watch, I'm gonna do it sometime in the future somehow, but again, that's one of the best things about the Miata, obviously, is the pop-up headlights. If you're a Miata owner, you know you have them up, and obviously, I drive with them up all the time, so that's just my thing. Anyways, that's gonna be the last thing that, um, to me, it's gonna be the best thing about the Mazda Miata. Anyways, guys, that's gonna conclude the video. This car is amazing, I love it. These are the best things about the Mazda Miata. Like, just right off my head, the things that I noticed the most when owning and driving this car. And it's a fantastic driver's car. I recommend it to anybody that needs like a cheap, reliable, fun sports car. This is the car for you. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what else you love about this car. Now, mind you, this is stock. This isn't like, a, oh, what I love about my car because obviously once, once I do stuff to it, lower it, wheels, uh, the turbo kit, I'm gonna probably have all, like, I love this about the car. So this isn't about the personal stuff about my car. This is just Miatas in general, which if you go to pick one up, this is the stuff that you're going to um, notice right away or you're gonna have it just like I do. It's not gonna be personal preference mods that I'm doing to my car that maybe you don't wanna do. So anyways, that's gonna conclude the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing an okay job. And uh, yeah, more Miata videos are gonna be coming out. I have some parts coming in, just with everything going on in the world, it's very hard for me to get them right now, only because you know stuff that I ordered a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, either 
just shipped or still hasn't shipped and I don't know when they're gonna be coming in so I just got to be patient it is what it is for now um, I'm just you know I'm gonna be making these style of videos until I can start getting my parts in and start making my install videos and all that stuff and my build to actually begin so this is just like an introductory to my Miata and my thoughts and kind of like a review of like what I think about the car so far being that I've only owned Volkswagens and my mini so this is like a different spectrum of car for me but so far I love it but yeah, anyways, guys, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. It lets you two know that I'm doing an okay job. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day and you're staying safe. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.